uh, August of 2017. The phone rang, I picked it up. I knew his voice. Uh, can't stay on the line long, but I want you to know that this week, which would have been uh, the, I think, second week of August 2017, in Japan, 29 humans were killed in a laboratory that was producing militarized robots by the Japanese for warfare. And then he went on to explain what he had learned because they're in these units that something like that that would happen, they would receive information. And he said that the story was the four militarized robots were being made to be autonomous warriors. And that they don't know why, but the four rebelled or acted autonomously. And as they acted autonomously, they killed 29 humans in this lab. And the whoever was left on the human side began pulling, this is the way he said, they began pulling the robots apart. They got two of them completely disassembled, were working on the third, and then the uh, analysis later was what happened with the fourth. The fourth was communicating with a satellite that they were teaching these militarized robots how to communicate with the satellites to get information on missions. And that the fourth robot was now extending up to the satellite and was searching for information about how to make itself stronger to take on apparently the remaining humans. What did they do exactly to that fourth? I don't know, but I understand they took it apart. Would they ever put them back together? So now, we're up to a point in August of 2017 where I'm hearing a story that is shocking and uh, I, I would say is like a warning that hits you out of the blue that if in August of 2017 four militarized robots being taught to be autonomous could do that in a lab, it made Elon Musk only uh, two months before in June at the Rhode Island Governors Association meeting. There were 30, 33 governors from the United States and Elon Musk was one of the invited speakers. And when they sat him down in a chair and they started asking him his perspective as being head of Tesla and X of SpaceX, he said, I think that the greatest problem that scares me the most is artificial intelligence.